We're going to be talking about artificial intelligence. It's been all in the news. There has been so much hype, I think particularly around ChatGPT. It's become very popular in a short period of time. And I think that if there's a time to really discuss artificial intelligence and its use in particular in women's health, this is the time to do it. All right, welcome back to episode seven. And in this episode, we're going to address artificial intelligence in women's health. I've divided this particular episode into three sections. The first section, we're going to explore some vocab vitals. What is artificial intelligence? What is a neural network? What is deep learning? What is machine learning? Just so that you can go into conversations, listen to the news, read articles, hear debates. And when they throw these words, out here, you're a lot more comfortable understanding what's going on. First definition, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence describes the field of teaching computers and machines how to mimic human intelligence thinking. And more specific, the type of human intelligence it's mimicking is mathematical and logistic thinking. The second definition that is important is machine learning, a subfield of artificial intelligence that describes the process by which computers or machines learn. In other words, they are programmed with instructions. They take that program and they learn to perform a task and they no longer need to be programmed to do that anymore. The second part of these, this particular episode will explore data sets. Anything that comes from artificial intelligence starts with a data set and we'll explore why these data sets are important and why they become ethical dilemmas very quickly. The most important thing to take away from artificial intelligence is that behind it are humans. And if there are any ethical issues, any issues with the data, any issues with the outcomes, it's the humans. The last part, we'll discuss the opportunities of artificial intelligence in women's health. We'll explore some early evidence that's showing promise in uh, topics like breast cancer, mental health, as well as fertility. All right, now this last part, the human part of really trying to work through the imperfections and the ethical dilemmas. I'm not gonna lie, the science geek in me is like, Ooh, what happened, what's gonna happen next? Um, because there's just so much potential in artificial intelligence if we just acknowledge that the flaws are there. And to me, that's the real potential of artificial intelligence, is to acknowledge that it's flawed, have the opportunity to have meaningful conversations about how we can improve on those flaws and actually improve outcomes for a lot of people. This was a lot of fun to make. I really enjoyed preparing this particular episode. I'm cautiously optimistic about artificial intelligence and I hope that you will learn and carry these terms and knowledge into your next conversation about artificial intelligence. Subscribe to the podcast, join our newsletter to get more information.